Hi, Julia Watts here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to make a card using the Magical Scenes Magical Journey, which is uh, one of the new stamp sets from Fairy Hooks. It's just been released. There are um, 10 new Magical Scenes and the Magical Scenes are um, compositions already made for you using some existing designs from Fairy Hooks. And um, a lot of the stamps have been resized uh, and to make something uh, new. So this here is the Gnome Mansion, which is a big stamp normally. Um, and you've team, teamed it up with the stone walkway. You've got the stone stage here. Uh, this is Jasper. You've got Moon Dust and the Flying Dragon there. So they are all existing stamps. But... They've been, like I say, they've been resized. All the masking's been done for you and it's a scene ready to go. So if you struggle with that, then this is a great uh, set of stamps for you. Um, if e Even if you are um, a seasoned fairy hugs uh, stamper, you will probably still enjoy these as well because you can add to them uh, too. There are also 10 new um, sentiment scene stamps as well. And this has got little Tadre, the dragon. He's sat on the stone stage. You've got moon dust again. And then the sentiment says, this journey is yours. Enjoy each and every step. Oh. So you can see that these two are a pair. Obviously, you can use them on their own. These are great for stamping on the backs of envelopes or if you want a gift tag. Uh, so you can just marry them up. Obviously, you can use them together on the same project like we're going to do today. I'm also using one of the new papers from the Enchantment paper pad. These are this is one of the the um, new uh, paper pads from Fairy Hugs, and it's six by six as always, twenty four double sided sheets as always, twenty four designs, two sheets of each as always, and two hundred and sixteen GSM. It's a lovely um, smooth cardstock to stamp onto and these are all sized to fit the magical scenes uh, you can use tumble shine as well uh, but there are two different sizes in tumble shine and uh, only one of the sizes really fits obviously you can use other papers as well as you will see in uh, one of my other videos but for now for this project we're going to be using a paper from this one all the products that we're going to be using are available on my website juliawattscrafts.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses and you will only find these stamps in the UK from myself. You won't find them on Create and Craft for at least the foreseeable future. So grab them while you can. And uh, they're also available at fairyhubs.com for worldwide shipping. Obviously, if you're in the UK, don't do that because you have to pay shipping and maybe import duties and uh, Royal Mail charges as well. So don't do that. OK, so let's crack on. We're going to do some stamping straight away. Uh, I am going to use the Galaxy stencil as well, which is an existing um, stencil from Fairy Hubs. So the paper I've chosen is this one, which is a nice rich purple one. Um, from the paper pad and I've just trimmed it down um, a wee bit I've trimmed it I think I've trimmed it to five and a half inches square yeah five and a half inches square so if you're doing this if you want this to be central you trim to five and three quarter inches on two sides and then when you get round here everything's five and three quarters and on the other two sides you trim to five and a half hopefully that makes sense it does to me hopefully it does to you so let's go into the stamping platform. I haven't actually stamped this stamp before, so uh, we'll see how we get on. They are big stamps, so you might want to, until you get used to them, you might want to actually stamp them off onto some uh, spare card and then use that spare card in another project before you go using your papers. And I reckon we can probably get a magnet in that corner as well because of the way this design is. As I said, this is a this is a new stamp, so I won't necessarily know exactly where it's going. When they're dirty, you can see exactly where they're going. So you can see it fits in the circle, but it comes off of the circle a little bit as well. Hopefully you can see that. 
So with this one, it doesn't matter about lining it up around the edges at all because it, it, it just flows off the edge. So it's a great one to do if you've not used it before. So yeah, I can see where it's going, but I want it to be, I want the castle to be straight. So obviously this is my card. I'm gonna make sure that it's not wonky because obviously if you put it on like that, it's on the wonk. You don't want that. And we have plenty of room up there to pop our sentiment as well. I am going to stamp my sentiment on a separate piece of card though. Let's have it so it comes down further. So the dragon's not off the page too much at the top. Are we straightish? Let me have a look. Yeah, I reckon we're all right. We go with that. Make sure your card's really butted up to the corner of your stamping platform. Quite sticky because it's a new one, which is very important to have this really butted up to the corners. Sometimes it's a good idea as well, because it's quite a big stamp, to actually peel it off and roll it back on again. Not all the way off, obviously, because you've got your position, just so that you don't get any air bubbles in there. And because it's such a dark background, I am going to actually stamp in Nocturne Verse Fine Clear. And you find all the Verse Fine Clairs and Reinkers on my website. about getting ink on the edges because it's it is a deeply etched photopolymer so if you're using your stamping platform you're not gonna you're not gonna get any ink where it shouldn't be unless of course you've got air bubbles but don't don't worry it's just a piece of card you can always turn it home around your stamp give that ink a chance to settle in I probably will have to stamp it twice sometimes with this uh, paper especially if you've used this stamp before then uh, you don't need to stamp more than once and even on some silhouettes you don't need to uh, but this is its first inking its first outing so um, I am expecting especially around here maybe on the dragon and maybe on Jasper as well that I would need to do some more just give that ink a chance to settle in. It's ha always harder to stamp a big stamp than it is a small stamp. So don't don't stress. Of course, if you, you could, if you wanted to, cut these stamps up and make separate stamps. I'm not going to, I don't think. But you could if you wanted to. So it's gonna it's gonna come. I'm just gonna peel it away because it, it's not going to stick so that yeah I thought that would do that would happen make sure it's butted up to the edge let's give that no mansion a big old press in the middle until you've actually used a stamp for the first time you won't know where it's it's pressure points are that it needs more attention so that's a little bit better so we'll make sure again that it's butted right the way up into the corners I'm going to ink it again. So I know I've got to give a lot of attention to my gnome mansion. Jasper's pretty good actually. Jasper was part of the Winter Wonderland collection in 2022. The gnome mansion was... Uh, ooh, that must be nearly three years old now. 
Stone Stage was part of the Halloween collection in 2021. The Flying Dragon was one of the originals, as was the Stone Walkway. So you can see it's not quite nice. Actually, we've got a bit of um, grass here as well. That's that's the one of the small stamps. isn't it the scene all made for you think how long that would take if you were masking that off or obviously dealing with all these small stamps yet yeah, it's done all in one go fabulous absolutely fabulous <clears throat> not sure i might add a bit of color to that i'm not going to add a bit of color in this video though but um i might at a later date Very sticky one there, mate. If you, you've had your stamps for a while and you're finding that and they're not sticking, then just give them uh, a wash. I just do them in just normal water. You can use um, a little bit of soapy water, but not a lot. And uh, dry them off and then they'll clean again. Let's store that in there. And then we'll stamp our sentiment. Now I need a piece of kitchen roll, which I'll put somewhere where it is. And I'm going to pop a piece of kitchen roll in my stamping platform. And I have a circle. I have two circles actually. Cut out using the debossed double stitched circles from Sentimentally Yours and I think it's that way yes so it's one two three it's the fourth size counting from the middle and I cut it out of it's like a it's a 300 gsm uh, white card that I found in my stash I'm not going to tell you what it is because you can't get it anymore let's have a look I'm just I just found it I thought I might use that one I'm going to put a little bit of PVA on the back just a tiny bit, not a lot. And then that's going to go on my kitchen roll now. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with my sentiment yet, where it's going. Because I haven't had a, a run of this one, this layout of card before. I think I know where we're going. So again, this is the sentiment that says the journey, this journey is yours. Enjoy each and every step with Padre. I'm going to pop that just there. It's a circle, so if it's not straight, it doesn't matter because you just move the circle around a wee bit. I can get a couple of magnets in there, actually. I'm going to pick them up. And again, we're going to go with Nocturne. It's a smaller stamp. It's always easier to stamp the smaller stamps. He's very small and I struggle with them. Um, my eyesight's not brilliant, so I probably won't actually colour him in. But the, the detail on it, let's see, see if I can get it closer for you. The detail is absolutely incredible and it's all come out on that stamp. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, that's that. I do love fairy hook stamps, as you all know, if you follow me. I've been working with fairy hook stamps for three years now, over three years, actually, I think. And um, I just love them. I have, I think I have 
all but two of them they've ever bought out. Okay, so that's that. Let's put him away. There. And let's go on to our card. So I've done a gate fold with a circle. So I've cut, the idea is that this is going to go in the centre here, like so. And so we'll see it through the gate fold. That's the idea anyway. And so I've used, I think it's the eighth one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I did was I folded my card first of all, then I ran this, I opened it out and I ran that through. Then I repositioned this in there like that and then lined it up on the other side and then ran it through with that, like that. That's how I did, that's how I cut it. I don't know if there's an easier way to do it, but that's how I did it. And then I've also used the same die and the next size stitched torn circle from Sentimentally Yours to go around like that to cut a frame. Okay. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to add a little bit of interest to the outside here. And we're going to run a piece of, in fact, let's use this one that I used on another card. It's got a bit of green on it, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to just put this along the fold like so. Where to mark? Now. And then Deezy Boo Razor, which is absolutely brilliant. Gets all sorts of dirty marks off. And we're going for um, multiviolet distress ink. And we're also going for the Galaxy stencil. So the Galaxy stencil has like a run of stars going around the middle. Like that, let me show you. Here. Or I'm going to use these, this group of bigger stars here as I can. So we're going to have a few stars going on this side. I'm going to use my brush. I don't want it necessarily too dark, but we'll see how it comes out. Lots of circular motions. Oops. Moved, as always, because I never actually secure anything down. go for the same up here you can find all the stencils on my website too the other side as well. Carefully peel that away so it doesn't tear the fold. Pop this down again. Final corner here. Sometimes you don't need to dip because the brushes stay 
the Distress Ink stays wet on the brushes for a while. There we go. Cool. Obviously, that's going to clean off in, with water. And let's have a peel that off as well. like that. I know it doesn't quite meet in the middle but it's fine. I am going to just, so we can trim it, I am going to pop some glue on half of this to begin with. And this will go Here. And the stitch taut on edge just gives you a nice bit of detail. Is it just off there? I think I had glue going all the way. I have now. messing with ink, put the lid on that, just going to ink around the edges of this so that we've got a point of difference um, in the centre, I don't want to smudge my image as I've stamped it so beautifully. use the same principle with lots of different cards but have them looking entirely different just by changing the colour or the stencil that you use and you can have a, a batch of cards all ready to go and fairy hooks do have a, an angel policy that as long as you actually make a project you hand stamp it and create it obviously yourself rather than just photocopying then you can sell what you make for profit for yourself or for charity obviously don't just stamp everything out and sell the stamped images you need to actually make something with it that will do and then we've got that's going to set be set up we're also going to stamp around the um, ink around the edge of this as well so that everything ties in and matches. I'm only using the kitchen roll so I don't smudge the image. It's coming in a little bit more. I think it just makes a difference inking around the edges. Okay. So our inking done. Clean up. You don't have to use oxide for any of that uh, ink, distress ink for any of that. You could use distress oxide if you wanted or whatever ink you've got. Right. Let's get to my scissors. And we'll just trim this down. Oh, I need to go that way because I know my scissors are. side you could of course leave a full circle if you wanted to on one side or you can have overlapping circles 
you can do all sorts of things. I'll get my camera again. <laughs> I hope nobody keeps score about how many times I hit my camera. It's a lot. Thanks to settle. Uh, position this so that it looks right. Let's go over it. A bit, a bit hit and miss this, but we'll see. We do have a bit of wiggle time, thankfully. I'm just drawing with the glue, I'm not putting loads of glue on. this off here yeah. and then we just need to put the sentiment on I think the sentiment I mean you've got a choice really you could have the sentiment like that in there but I don't think I want to do that what I want to do is have it on here but if we have it on here, when it opens, we've got a bit of a muck, mucky mark there where the, um, the kitchen roll was. So I've got another circle here. And so we can stick together, stamped one and this one, and then it looked nice and neat. You could actually neaten it up even more by having a frame on the inside as well. We could have stenciled around the edges too. See, there's lots you can do. As you think about it, you think of lots of different ways that you can just change things up a little bit. Right, I need a little bit of um, band tape. Let's take this out this way. And the scissors. Just there like that. And we'll pop Tadre. Make sure he's straight. Like that. So he can be just there on the edge. Like that. It's cool, isn't it? Gatefold. Shame it doesn't touch in the middle, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> I think my card's a little bit shy of A4. Never mind. You get the idea. You get the idea, don't you? So obviously that could be the front of a card anyway. You don't have to actually do that. And you can just put your sentiment just there like that. And that could be a front, front of your card. But just adding a little bit different around the edge. There you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that. As I said, you can get everything that I've used from my website, juliawattscrafts.co.uk, for shipping to UK addresses. And it's also available from fairyhugs.com. And remember, if you're in the UK, you can only get them from me. You can't get them anywhere else. Uh, do like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'd absolutely love to read your comments on there. And uh, do watch out for my other uh, videos too. So thank you for watching.